Thank you folks, good evening. Uh, nice to be here. Nice to be anywhere, actually. <laughs> uh, that was a tune called Ting Ling. Uh, it was called The Waltz of the Bells. But uh, we played it in 4-4. Four -four. Those are the uh, uh, theoretical mind. We play that in 4. It's originally written in 3. And uh, more than 2 can play it. Uh, one. What's this numbers? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to carry on with a, a number from the audience as well, for, uh, written by a guy called Peter Bocage, and he called it Papa's Gone Goodbye. Mama's Gone Goodbye. <laughs> Yes, right. 
the birth of the blues. You can all join in the 75th chorus. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, like on the boat. Yeah. Now that don't your own joke.
same car that's left there with hazard flashes on outside. <coughs> Now, there's been several requests for this fax number, uh, so that's uh, the excuse for doing it. I, I do this number because it's a rather surprise for a, a jazz outfit to do this. It's actually a folk song. Outside his seaman's mission, 
memory fading like the metal ribbon he wears. And our winter city cries, cries a little pity for one more forgotten hero and a world that doesn't
Peter, the finest trombone player in the band. Uh, this is a number written by the great Kidori. It's called it's a Boy Blues. Oh, yes.
you in half an hour. Don't buy the raffle tickets and have a great time. Thank you. See you in half an hour. Just a quick commercial before you settle down. Next Thursday, we'll see the regular first Thursday of the month appearance of the Easy Riders Jazz Band on the Friday stage. So next Thursday night, Easy Riders Jazz Band. And the following next Saturday, we should be featuring Peter Surfleet and the trumpet with us. So thank you very much indeed, and I hope you enjoy the night. Well, Pay up to three grand, or even up more, maybe. Yeah. Well, I believe it's about 1900. Yeah, 1900, yeah, I remember mean, I mean, you telling me, yeah. yeah. 
I only want him because of my wife. But if you, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk to you if you don't get any. <laughs> so I didn't. She died three weeks funny later. <laughs> You wear them all the time, you don't wear them when you're at home, do you? Or do you? No, I take them off when I yeah. am. And you get the batteries cheap enough, can you not? Know? I get the batteries up to buy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thank you. 
We play over in the hole up there. We play in the hole up there. It's the last Thursday of the month. Yeah, it was, that right. Anyway, they cut the plate. Shut it, have they? Oh. Another one gone down the trolley today. Oh, yeah, but the. Uh, they tell me the honest four year is open again. Yes, so I'm letting it leave. And they want, want you back. No, we can't do that. Well, it's a better venue where you're playing at the moment. But I, I don't... I don't like the actual dancing to my mind. I come to sit here and see the band. Not really. I don't believe they want to dance and uh, yeah, join a bit. Are you bumping again? Are hey, you bumping again, Ethan? Again? Well, I have to because I'm diabetic. Keep the habit. Let it know that, right? Yeah. 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 You can control it in your mind. Yeah, by your diet and medication. Which I am not. Oh. There's always somebody in the wing bank. Yeah, when George went, what did it say? George's dad died. Oh. He's going to have a job there. I don't want to have a job there. Well, that's why, where I got dropped in him. Yeah. Well, I do really well. I play a bit. Quite honestly, I'm, um, I'm thankful. Still be playing at all. <laughs> so, I, I, I am very lucky I'm doing. I'm only 80 and a half. I'm only 80 and a half, I'm only scribbling. Well, so was mine. Ken Dobbs said, when you get over 80, he said, everything. I've got to get a drink now, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Take care. Car still going all right? Right? Car still going all right? Oh, car still going all right? Yes, it is. I actually, yes, it's got a slight oil leak. Oh, but not much of one. Um, he's looking at it on Wednesday. I came with Bill tonight, so I didn't have to use it. Ah. And, uh, I've only got to go as far as messing him tomorrow, so that's not far. Yes, it runs very well, actually. Messing him? Oh, messing him, yeah. Scummy way. That's right. That's right. It's a Mexican show or something. Like that. Playing with Don Thompson's band.
So the sergeant said, well, I don't know, take it to the zoo. He said, oh, yeah, no, good, that's so off. And the next day, the sergeant's on the beat, and he sees this guy in Shaftesbury Avenue, and the penguin's still following him. And he said, I thought I'd still say that to the zoo. He said, oh, that was yesterday. Today, we're going to the pictures. <laughs> The sound of laughter is insulting. Really, really great. Thank you very much. Uh, a request has gone flooding in. Dark down sweaters in the Thank you. 
I'm just taking some land and I'm going to do it because uh, I, I did it some weeks ago and a lady at the back said it was her favourite tune but she never thought it, she'd hear it played at loud jazz drums which I thought was quite touching really but uh, anyway so I'm going to do it tonight it's a tune called My Romance
you want. Yeah. Well, then, how can you face me? What? Oh, so are you going to sing, are you? Yeah. yeah. Bill's going to sing for you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
love a brand new choo-choo toy When I met my sweet Lorraine Lorraine, Lorraine She's got a pair of eyes Bluer than the summer sky When you see them you'll realize Why I love my sweet Lorraine
And then they pour the gas in the camera. Oh my god, what's it? Got one of his eyes uh, gone. Uh, yeah, that was Bob Wallace. It's crazy. Uh, well, I think you have to go with the crazy to play this music. I'm not sure. Anyway, both of them. Please don't go when I've gone.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you all very much for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I must give thanks to uh, Behind the Bar, Peter Cook and the Brewery. Yeah, yeah. And Jeff and Alex and Peter who also work Behind the Bar. And at this end of the room, uh, as usual, on the piano, Frank Baker. Oh, yeah. And on two of her money bases, Christina. I want this man in fact, Joe's Jeff Morris. Yeah. And all this money goes and singing to his well tonight, Bill Trappleton. Yeah. And the man with the golden trombone played beautifully oh, tonight, yeah. Colin Gordon. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd like to thank most of all to the guy that's led the band tonight and there's some for you and everything else, yeah. Brian Bowles. Hey. Yeah. Well, the fact that I had some surgery yesterday, so I'm taking his toll. I'm afraid the last bit was a bit wayward, but there you go. Not at all. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> very kind. But I, I did hear this silly uh, story about this cowboy who came into town dressed in tiling brown paper, and the sheriff arrested him for ruffling. <laughs> There's that terrible cowboy story of a guy visiting a little western town uh, and he's a sheriff, so he goes to see the local sheriff. And in the cell, he's got a, he's got a cowboy there who's dressed in nothing but brown paper. Brown paper shirt, brown paper jeans, brown paper boots, everything. He said, what are you in jail for? He said, rustling. <laughs> I was just going to say, what about a big round of applause for Fred? <laughs> that Brian was going to come in limping tonight and say, Mr. Dillon, Mr. Dillon.